Yeah, it's a, it's a very good question. Um, in terms of the lung metastasis model, uh, we've only started to do a, a lot more immunohistochemistry now. So when we do our analysis of lung mononuclear cells, we tend to take, we take a whole lung. So we're not digest, it's very difficult to digest individual colonies. Uh, but if you look at what's been done in terms of immunohistochemistry, you can see NK cells infiltrating um, the various uh, colonies and metastases. I'm sure there'd be heterogeneity there. I don't think that's a question that's been looked at really closely. There might be some older literature on that. I think there's a lot of NK cell mediated control though in the blood or in the first pass that the cells actually go into the tumours. So I quite a bit of the control I think is stopping the cells actually extravasating into the tissues. I don't think anyone's really quantitated that. People ask that question a lot. Um, but I, I think it's, it's a, a, bit of, a bit of both, really. There is control. I showed you that day five experiment. You can very clearly reduce the number of colonies, even at as late a time point as there. And I'm pretty sure all the cells have seeded by that point in time. Adenosine production is uh, strictly linked to hypoxia or, or is driven also cell autonomously by genetic makeup of cancer. So for, for instance, kidney cancer do produce more adenosine than other cancers, or is it known? Yeah, there, there's, there's not a, there, are, there are some genetic drivers of, of adenosine as well. So HIF is not the only yeah. upstream factor. So there's been a lot done in breast cancer, particularly around uh, estrogen receptor status, for example, things like that. So there's a bit, there's a bit known about that, although um, it, there are, there's, there's probably still a lot more work to be done in that space, I think. So in the in the combination therapy when you give uh, receptors um, do you get significantly pick up in the situation? <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, we haven't we haven't yet done those experiments with the inhibitors, but we with the knockouts um, we have seen um, in the uh, case of the A2A receptor knockout, just recently we've actually seen quite a high level of CD73 in the tumour microenvironment. So I think there is some kind of cross-regulation there. Um, so far it looks like the expressions on, on uh, the non-hemopoietic fraction, on probably on the mostly on the tumour cells, but it may be on other non-hemopoietic cells. Yeah.